welcome back to my channel and we're doing a cooking video today like you guys requested if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join the family today we are going to be making spanish rice or mexican rice so i am going to start this by saying i can do a whole new video the authentic way but this video right here is a three ingredient video on how to make spanish rice so let me explain before you guys come for me but you can come for me. You can come for me in the comments because I don't condone violence, but I will use it for clout. So anyway, so this recipe is a quick, easy, simple way to make Spanish rice or Mexican rice. And you only need three ingredients. Yes, I do know how to make it the authentic way. If you guys would like that video, I can go ahead and do that in detail, step by step. It's a longer process, of course, with fresh ingredients, but this is quick, easy, simple, and my way to do it because having kids, you guys know we're in a rush. We have to just want to get the food on the stove and get it over and done with. So I'm going to show you my way, and I swear, I promise you, you guys are going to love me after this, and it tastes amazing. So let's get into it. So the three ingredients you're gonna need is sazon. You're gonna need one packet. Today we're gonna make two cups of rice. So if you're gonna make more, I'll explain as I go on how to double up on your ingredients. But all you're gonna need is the consomme, which is the caldo de tomate, this one. Mine's all bent. The sazon and pepper. You can use pepper, you cannot use pepper if you don't like it. I use pepper, it just gives a little bit more flavor. And of course the rice and a little bit of oil. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself one of these pots. It's still wet because I just washed it. You get one of these pots and a top and it's a frying pan you can make it in the bigger pots but i don't make it in those pots i don't know how so i'm going to show you how i do it so for the rice i do use long grain rice you can use any type of rice you want um i know a lot of people use jasmine rice i just personally don't like jasmine rice because it doesn't taste the same not in my opinion but for you guys asking in the last video what kind of rice i use i use long grain rice any brand it really doesn't matter as long as it's long grain so i usually just get the walmart brand that's there and as long as it says long green you're good to go first what you're gonna do is have a little bit of oil in your pot not too much you don't want to soak the rice just enough to get it a little wet put two cups of rice i use a coffee mug but you can use measuring cups your one pack of sazon only one see because i'm making two cups of rice if you're gonna make four cups you just go ahead and double it so if you're making four you're gonna use two packs and so on and so forth you're gonna sprinkle some pepper I don't know how much that is. I just, just sprinkle it. Now the consomme, you're gonna use about two and a half spoons. You are gonna have this on medium to high. You're gonna mix all your ingredients together and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So as you can see, it's just enough to get the rice wet, but not, you're not drowning your rice with oil. So by the time you mix all the ingredients together, it should look like this and it should be fried just the perfect amount to add the water. So you're gonna add the water. I like to fill it up to about that much away from the edge. I don't really measure much. So I'm guessing what everyone says is that it's like two cups to one cup. So it's two cups of water for every cup of rice. You can go by that measurement. So I just kind of eyeball it. That much of water away from the top. I'm going to give it a quick little mix just to make sure all ingredients are mixed together and there's no clumps. Once you put the water in, put it on high heat just so that it can start bubbling. See how it's starting to bubble around the edges? Once it starts a little bubble just like that, you can go ahead and put it on low, the lowest on your stove, and then top it. And when I tell you guys that is it, that is it. Me personally, I'll wait about 10 minutes and do a quick little turn of the rice. You don't have to do that. You could just leave it top for the next 15 to 20 minutes and it'll be completely done. I'm telling you guys, you guys are gonna thank me so much. I, just try it, just try it. I know you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy right now. And you guys are probably like, that girl don't even know how she, what she's doing. That girl don't know how to cook. And that's gonna be nasty. Just trust me in this one. Just take a leap of faith here and do it. And I'm telling you, because when my friend told me about this, I even looked at her like, because I was doing the whole process, step by step, everything. My mother-in-law showed me how to do it because I couldn't get like to do it the right way. So anyway, she's the one who told me how to do it. And I was doing it the old fashioned way, you know, step by step like she did. And don't get me wrong, it's great. It tastes good. But when my friend told me this, I was like, girl, you're crazy. I looked at her like she was crazy. I was like, mm, I don't think that's going to taste right. It's not going to taste the same. It's going to taste weird or it's not going to be the same. But 
I promise you guys, like I said, just trust me here. Give, give me just this little one time and then come back in the comments and let me know how it tastes, okay? We're gonna wait about 10 minutes to do my turn. Another 10 minutes just so it could finish cooking so it could be soft and fluffy. And then I'll show you guys the end result. I typically turn it just halfway through. So this is what it should look like. You can tell it's still hard, not done. So what I do is just do a quick turn of the rice. And there you go, and you top it. So you try to do that pretty quick because... Yes, I know that you're not supposed to open it. So you're supposed to leave it top, leave it alone until it's done. And yes, you can do that. You can top it, leave it completely alone. Don't worry about it. I just, I think it's just me, my personal OCD that I turn it. So you don't have to do that, that step. You can just leave it alone for about 20 minutes and it'll be completely done and you don't have to worry about it. It's completely up to you. That's halfway through, so we have like another... 10 minutes and then it will be completely done and I'll show you the end result. Okay, you guys, so here you go, finished product. So 15 minutes later and we're all done. Here it is in a little baby bowl because I'm about to feed my baby. Yes, that is it, that is all. Quick, simple, easy, three ingredients, 10 to 20 minutes tops and your rice is done. I am gonna end this video here with saying thank you, thank you so much for all your guys' love and support and continuing to be here even though it took me forever to get back on. I just wanna say how much I am appreciative to you guys and how grateful I am that you guys follow me from one social media platform to others to speak to me and tell me thank you and to give me suggestions and I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, this channel is for you guys, whatever you guys wanna see, whatever you guys want me to do. It's not only food, pranks, day-to-day -day vlogs whatever you guys want let me know and i will do it go ahead and put it in the comments below and we'll go ahead and do that on the next video and if you do want that step-by-step -step authentic mexican rice with all the ingredients let me know and i'll do that video next don't forget to like comment and subscribe and drop your suggestions down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time good night